When working with confidence intervals, it's actually possible to calculate what sample size you'll need to make certain estimations about the population mean. So first of all, remember that confidence intervals are just a point estimate plus or minus a margin of error. In this case, our point estimate is the sample mean, and our margin of error depends on the population standard deviation, the sample size, and the degree to which we want to be confident with our interval. So we can calculate what sample size we will need in order to have a certain margin of error that we specify. And we can use this equation to do that, which has some things we've already known, and E, which is the margin of error that we specify. We're going to try to find N, which is the sample size we'd need to have that margin of error. So for example, on the verbal section of the SAT, the standard deviation is known to be 100. What size sample would we need to construct a 95% confidence interval with a margin of error of 20? Now when I say margin of error of 20, I mean something like this. Let's say the mean is 500. We want that 500 to be 20 between the two numbers of the interval we've created. So here 480 and 520 are both 20 away from 500. That would be our interval. We'd be 95% certain it's between 480 and 520. So let's do that. Let's plug the numbers into the equation and let's find out how many people we would need. So I put things in. I put in 100 for the population standard deviation and I put in 20 for the margin of error. And for z alpha divided by 2, I put in 1.96. I put in 1.96 because we're calculating a 95% interval here. So if you're unfamiliar with why I put in 1.96, you can look at my last lecture and you can also look at one of my lectures on z-scores. And that explains why I got that and how I got that value. So when I put everything in, I found an n of 96.04. And we're going to round that up to 97 because 0 0.04 people doesn't make any sense. So we can say that a sample size of 97 is needed to create a 95% confidence interval with a margin of error of 20. And that's how you calculate what size you would need to create a confidence interval with a certain margin of error.